And what's a tasty splash without all that fruit, like I mentioned before? Just need to randomly scatter some models of the fruit which are already downloaded onto the particles, which we already have from the liquid sim. And we're good to go, right? But nothing is ever that simple. Remember that reseeding problem I mentioned before, where the particles get added or removed depending on what the sim thinks it needs? Yeah, that caused havoc. Absolute havoc with scattering objects over the particles. They'll pop in and out. It was, it was a bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie. And I was like, surely there's a way to be able to track if a particle was at the start of the simulation and at the end of the simulation. And one thing I love about Houdini is there's always a way. So I wrote some VEX code and a little bit of a time shift node. I have that all on screen now that was able to find out if a particle was at the start and the end of the simulation and match them based on their unique ID, which we set up earlier. And that just solved that reseeding problem. No more popping in and out. 